Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. In the previous video, we have talked about what are FLs and how we can use switch statement. In this video, we will talk about what are the various loops in JavaScript and when and how to use those JavaScript loops. So there are basically five types of, uh, five types of loops which are provided in JavaScript. Some of them are also provided or supported in some other languages like JavaScript, Java or uh, Node.js or uh, Apex, Java and Python. So these are few other scripts which are basically supporting some of these provided for loop and some of them are not provided or some of them are not supported in the other language. For loop is basically is a very traditional for loop where we are going to iterate through an array or through an object. Then we have got for in basically it is uh, useful whenever we are iterating in objects, the objects we have already talked about. For of is very useful whenever we are working with arrays or we are working with objects, we are working with sets, we are working with map. Then while while loop is basically going to tell is say that do this particular things which is there inside a bracket, do these statements, execute these statements while a particular condition is true. So here we are going to define our conditions and then within a curly braces we are going to define the set of instruction that a loop is going to perform. And then we have got to do while loop which tells that do something and then define the condition at the end. So let's quickly see what exactly the syntax for these loops looks like and then we will talk about how exactly we can use inside a console a window where we are working on. So this is a for loop, a very simple syntax. This is also known as traditional for loop. You might already be aware about this, where we start a loop from a zero and then we say that, okay, a loop is going to be a less than of whatever the length of our array is. And then we are going to increment whatever the variable of our i is. And then within that, uh, within our curly braces, we are going to define our statements, which are going to be executed as a part of that for loop. Then we have got for in that we have already talked about. It is basically useful wherever you have an object and you want it to basically iterate with that. So here is a particular example for that. You have got let. It can be where or it can be other variable as well. We say that this is our variable, say that let x in. That is why it says that for in. We've got in whatever our object is. We've got a person and then we are saying it is basically going uh, giving you the key and then you are getting the value over here. We will see all these in the action as well in, within a few seconds, uh, not seconds, a uh, minute. Then we have got for off, which is again useful whenever you have got uh, arrays, you have got maps and you have got set. This is basically your syntax where we say that like let x of our iterable object, which can be our map, which we are talking about. Or we have already discussed about the map. Then we have got while loop where we say that while the condition is true, do, do these particular lines or execute these particular lines, whatever we have defined inside our curly braces. That is what this is the example. While i is less than is 10, then just execute this line and increment the value of our i so that it don't get into an infinite loop. And then below is basically the syntax of our do while loop where we say that first do this and then check the condition. So the difference between these two is basically in while loop we are checking the condition first then executing the statement. In do, do while loop what we do is we are executing the condition first and then checking this. We will be able to see the clear difference while we are doing the hands on for all these for loops. So let's quickly uh, basically see how we can work with the for loops or uh, different different loops in javascript and then you will be also able to see the clear difference between all these loops so here this is the console basically where we are working on first thing we'll talk about our uh, for in loop oh, sorry for loop which is very traditional loop for that we are going to create an array we'll talk about more about the arrays into the coming videos here we will say that We'll just have an array basically which is going to have a, some sort of uh, 
it it is basically a collection of similar elements like if it is an a string it is going to be a string if it is a number it is going to be a number it can be a string and number it can be a string an object basically it is a collection of elements that you can have so these are basically some fruits that i am just putting over here say that my array now if i wanted to iterate with this array and i wanted to have the element of e each these like we have got three elements and I wanted to have the value for each particular element, each particular indices. So what I will do is, there are various methods for arrays. We will talk about those into the coming videos. We will say that let i equal to 0 and then I will say that let i is less than array dot length and we will say that i plus plus. Now here what we can do is, we can just quickly go ahead and alert each element so to alert this we'll use alert statement and then what we'll say that we'll say that my array and here inside uh, inside square brackets we will use i whatever the element is so basically this is going to be zero in this this is going to be one this is going to be two so we will say that okay alert first zero indices then one indices and then two indices and then we will hit enter as soon as we will hit enter you will see an uh, uh, an alert over here which is saying that apple then banana and then grapes and then it's done so this is very like very basic of uh, traditional for loop and which is faster than all the for loops which are available among uh, uh, like which are available whatever we have like for in for off or do while or while this is basically the faster loop when we talk about for loop the other way to use this is basically to make this more uh, convenient or more faster what we usually do is we say that length and then what we actually do is we basically have these values over here and then we are basically have having using this over here this is the only change in the syntax that we usually do in order to make our loop much faster than the other one which is already there the reason it is, is faster because every time it is basically calculating the length which is consuming uh, much time that might be milliseconds or might be in microseconds that is basically consuming the time so we are just calculating the length once and then we are using that length variable inside our uh, basically inside our for loop so this is about the for loop which is traditional for loop now let's talk about foreign okay so we have already talked about for in where we need basically a, uh, I will say that uh, we have some sort of uh, object that we need. So what we will do is basically we are just going to have these two parameters only name and email. And uh, if you wanted to have, you can have another parameter which is is admin as a true or false. And we will say that user admin. Okay. So this is a basically object that we have got now. We also need to provide some value because we wanted to have exact some value so that we can see all these values coming over the alert statement or console statement. Now to execute this, what we will do is we'll say that okay, this time we are going to have let x we'll say that in user admin. Okay. Now what we will do is we'll just alert first x. We'll see what exactly that x is coming. And then in the coming uh, demo, we'll see what uh, like how exactly we can get these values. So let's quickly alert this. You can see that x are nothing. Basically, x is nothing, which is our key for that particular object. Now, if you wanted to get the value and you remember how you were getting the value from an object, you were saying that, OK, I've got an object and then you were using a curly braces. You are providing a key value and then you were getting the value for that. So if you remember what we actually did is we said that okay we have got an we have got a basically particular object and we wanted to have that key we have got name here we are hard coding right but inside a for loop you don't know what will be there in the key so we will we have used another way which is which was using square brackets to use that and then hit enter so you have got this so that okay it is saying that Amit some email and then you have got true and then you will say x is not defined because of the scope of this let variable that we have already used now if you wanted to try it with some sort of where variable you can also try to see this particular thing 
and you will see what exactly is happening and you can say it is then uh, it is saying as true so basically in the x what is the last element which is ad, uh, is admin and that is what is coming over here because of the scope of our var element so this is about your uh, we say that uh, particular for for in loop okay you can use whenever you have an array you wanted to iterate you can use for in whenever you have an uh, sorry when you are you have an object use for in you have an array you can use traditional for loop or you can also use for off so suppose that you have got an array which is basically your my array okay and now you wanted to have so you wanted to iterate using a for off so we'll say that let x we say that off and my array okay and this time i i also just wanted to know what exactly we'll get it is going to return whatever all the elements you have so that is basically your uh, uh, my of oh, sorry for of arrow box now if you remember we have got some maps right uh, which was saying that my map or it was something like that map okay so let's quickly have a my map so what i did is i prepared a map over here and now if we wanted to use a for of on the map so we'll say okay we have got a map let's quickly iterate and alert what exactly we are getting for x we are getting whatever the key is and whatever the value is there we say that name is amit singh email is this so what if we wanted to have we can split as we have already talked about the string methods so we can have that split so if we say that okay let's quickly split uh, some sort of uh, what was the variable which was comma right so if we split with this okay there is some error x dot split is not a function so basically the reason we are getting because this x is basically an object we are getting the values in the x so what we have is uh, we can try to have like uh, in the object itself we can try to iterate and then we can get this but what if we wanted to have we can have map dot values and then we can see what we are getting over here so we'll say that okay let's quickly have and now we are getting all those values right so this is basically how you can use for off for your map as well for your uh, for your uh, if you wanted to have uh, uh, objects i haven't used for objects so you can have that object over here and you will see it's not an iterable right because object is something which should be in, in the form of iterable that is why this is saying that iterable is not by user admin is not an iterable but when we when we talk about for in that actually works on the object itself so this uh, this is about basically the for loops the different different for loops that you have and then when we talk about while loop right so let's say that we have got a variable called i is 0 and now we say that while i is less than 5 okay if that is the case then basically alert i okay and then have i plus plus and hit enter we will say it is going to start 0 1 2 3 4 and then it is stopping reason why it is stopping because it is saying i is less than 5 that means up to 4 it is going to be there like from 1 to uh, 0 to 4 it is again it's a 5 now if we talk about do while loop right in the same case so we'll say that okay do and we'll say that alert i okay i am going to basically have this and we'll say that okay i plus plus and i will have here i is 5 okay sorry okay let's uh, define that i over here we'll say that list let i is 5 and then here we will check while what we are saying is less than 5 i is less than 5 so let's let's hit enter and see what happens what we are getting is we are getting 5 so what happens in case of do while it checks the condition at the end and perform the actions before so if there is any scenario where you wanted to execute your loop at least one no matter if the condition is true or the condition is false then go with the do while loop otherwise don't use do while because in case of do while whatever the statements you put inside your curly braces inside your do statement it is always going to execute at least once 
no matter if the condition is true or not. In case of while, it is going to check the condition and then perform your uh, particular statements that you have put inside your, uh, uh, what, what we say that inside your particular uh, while loop. So basically this is it about the loops and uh, in the coming videos we will talk about uh, what are the arrays and their important methods and again how we can uh, use these methods or use these for loops inside the arrays as well. So we will meet into the next lecture. Thank you.